we did multiple scatter but note you can also do multiple regression with this one you are going to have like a line in all of it let's rename this as rename as multiple multiple okay and let's let's write our code as so rename 2d plot okay yeah so yeah you can add a regression line to this as well the next one will be error bars so you want to make a simple scatter so just like we did with this one if you want to add error bars it's also easy using sigma plot you can just select it and it it tells you um how do you want the symbol value so do you want to use a worksheet column so for instance i've labeled this as error bars so what i'm trying to say is this is going to be an error bars for my plot or let's say for this column so this is an error for this this is an error for this so if you want to use a column then you can select this one or if you want to use let's say column mean or if you want to use so let's say if you select column mean is the error bar is going to be just the mean for this one so you don't have to kind of calculate the mean and label it all here to be the error maybe so to explain it better if you have error bars as and you want it to be the mean of this how many people do it is they just calculate the mean and then write it in a column and plot it but using zigma plot you can just come in and then choose column mean so then you select the column and the mean is going to be the error bar for you and you can come in and choose like the first column entry and all that you can choose um, all of these and it's gonna work for you but let's just stick with our worksheet column and let's go to next and let's choose our x y so next so let's choose our x so our x is going to be our first one and then our y is going to be our second one then it asks you okay you said you want a column to be your arrow so now select which column that should be the arrow so we are going to select this one so now select this one and go to finish oh i didn't select a new worksheet okay um so we should have made a new worksheet here so let's let's do it again multiple okay and next next and then So now you have your error bars attached to it. So that is also very easy to do. I like I just love the way you can just go in and you know how for instance I I have a class on origin and you have to come to your worksheet and label this as your x, set this as your x. If you have multiple y's, you have to come in and set all of them as your y's. If you want an error bar, you have to set this as your error bar and all or with sigma plot you can just come in and then just play with it so if you want to have a simple scatter error bar and regression so you have all three together you can do that you can come in let's rename this one as error okay and then you can always have that so that is that is basically it um so we can skip this one that you can also do multiple so just like we did this you can have multiple with error bars and you can choose how the mean is going to be um let's just do one i like trying stuff so let's just do one more yeah so you can always come in and play with some of these so there's like 
uh, multiple scatter error regression so that means you have something like this one with regression and then also with error as, as such so that is also something cool to do and you can come into let's say bi-directional error bars so that is also something interesting to do so this one it means you have error in the x error in the y and you can choose let's say the columns to be it and go to next choose your x y pairs so let's choose our x is our first and then our y is our second now what is our error so our error in the x direction let's choose error in the x direction to be let's just choose all of it to be the same um let's choose four and then also in the y direction let's choose four and and that is basically it let's hit finish and i didn't choose a new page that's my bad let's just um you can always also copy it and or cut it and then go to um you can always cut it and come to new and then graph page and then paste it over here so that is also something that can be done so did i copy the wrong one or did i cut the wrong one okay maybe i did yeah let's close this so yeah it, i think it has the error but the error is small okay let's let's do it again so let's come back and call this one rename let's call this one by directional arrow and then go over to scatter and choose this one so you're going to choose this next x and y now let's choose our x let's choose our y let's choose our x arrow to be let's choose our x arrow to be this and let's choose our y arrow to be this which is four okay and and then hit finish so now you have your bi-directional errors in here so that is something cool to do let's see what we have um, we have vertical asymmetric error bars so this helps you to let's let's come back here and go to scatter next so you have yeah you have your vertical asymmetric error bars so um, you can plot pair using two adjacent columns for error bars and values so all these things can also be done if you need them it's, it's quite easy and you can do same for vertical and then you can do um all of that as well so this is also bi-directional and then you can do vertical point plot so so this one is to plot columns of data as points above one another so that can be done and also horizontal point plot and then vertical dot plot and horizontal so let's just try our horizontal for instance so you can choose let's say y many x or y x so choose your y let's choose this one and then let's choose our x to be this one and then you can also do same so let's choose our our y2 to be three and you can even go for finish and you can have that so you have this plot together you can delete that you can come in again and let's see um horizontal vertical so this can also be done so you can choose let's say many y or you can have x many y replicate or many replicate so let's just go with many y and it will assume the x for us so let's choose two and three so our y's and hit finish and it just plotted vertically for us so it's gonna be something like this 
so let's delete that so that is basically all about scatter plot you can come in and play around us we will learn how to customize this and make it very fun so thank you and see you in the next lecture